Today's review is brought to you by Whiskey. The stuff you drink when you just want to let your fist do all the talking. Whiskey. You know, over the past three and a half years, beer runs have become very, very expensive. Not because of the actual cost of the beer, but because I always seem to find myself in the Transformer section buying a Transformer on top of the beer I went there originally to purchase. And the night usually ends with my family upstairs tucked snugly in their beds and me laying on the couch drooling but satisfied that I just got myself a brand new Transformer for my collection. Which brings me nicely to this guy. This beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> Now I fully admit, when I saw the product shots for this, I was like, ew, yuck. That was my first thought and my only thought. I mean, look at this thing. This car mode is pretty good, but not great. I mean, what's with the yellow? Why Why is there so much yellow at the top? And I mean, it just, it the tires, they don't match. One's painted, one's not, but painted black. I don't... The front looks great. I mean, other than the big yellow spot, I mean, the paint looks great. It's clean. It's a well done figure. But the promo shots really did not do this thing justice. It it has its moments. I mean, I can't get the side to lock in at all. I mean, no matter what I do, it has it just won't lock in. I can't get it. To anything I've transformed this thing at least 10 times and each time it just sits there or just protruding through the back it's like re really that there's no place we could have hid those there's no nothing we could have done with that but he does come with accessories but real talk for a second how cool a shot is that oh uh, man and with these you can turn them into a flaming speed racer and now sit back and enjoy as I try to do the weapon storage situation for the car yeah this is this is sad look at that look, look, sad so sad okay I'm just gonna speed this up yes up with this and I have no clue where to put any of the other accessories so I just put them there so there you go all the accessories and weapon storage but with all that aside seriously you end up at this point doing one of the most satisfying and amazing transformations I've ever had on a mainline figure I mean this thing is amazing and then you end up with this glorious, glorious transformer. I mean, look at that head sculpt. Look at the paint. Look at everything on this guy. It is as close to perfect as you'll ever find in a transformer. Like the eyes are painted well. The face is painted. The arms are painted. The, the pipes are painted. He has great rotation front to back almost 360 on both arms waist swivel he has a knee bend and a ankle knee deformation thing which is pretty cool and for some reason on the back calf well he doesn't skip leg day apparently he skipped clip day because mine doesn't clip in at all and I feel like the knees could have been done in a little bit better fashion. But what they lack in that, they make up in features because just like the masterpiece, he has the visor that can come down. And me personally, I just, for the most part, leave him with the visor down because I just think it looks cooler. And look at that back. I mean, that is the cleanest back on any Transformer I think I've ever seen. That is a clean clean back and it just makes the whole form of the figure look more quality and look just better engineered overall and he has opening hands i mean that is just beyond cool 
And it's like, it's just such an addition to the character that just makes that whole $30 just feel a little bit less of a burden on your pocket. All right, time to go back to the accessories. He has two guns that are actually in use here and not just sitting on the front of the car for quote unquote weapon storage. And if you open up his hands and flip those bad boys around, you will get a very cool nub, which is for the pizza cutter. So you put the pizza cutter on there and uh, just like, <laughs> just like, I mean, this is just too awesome. He actually has the pizza cutter hand. And if you go to his right hand and you pop that sucker open, he actually has the little repair piece that he used to repair a cup in the movie. It's like just such an amazing little callback that I really just enjoy too much. And you could take one of the blast effects, attach it to the matrix of leadership, and you can get the action sequence in Light Out Darkest Hour. And just for a quick size comparison, here he is with Earthrise Prime, Earthrise RC, Siege Ultra Magnus, and Siege Springer. Overall, this has been one of the best Transformers purchases I've ever made. I don't feel gypped. I don't feel like I lost out on anything. This is a fantastic figure in the posing. Oh, the posing. Which includes, but is not limited to, Hot Rod, look, there's a hole in the shuttle. What? Decepticons! Chopping up a delicious robotic sushi platter, all while saving Cup at the same time. Truly lighting our darkest hour. Performing dental work to fix Snapdragon's Headmaster Overbite. Super kicking Cyclonus and regaining the WWE Championship. And the Optimus, please forgive me. And I hope he does because none of us ever will, you son of a... So final thoughts buy it just go just go buy it i mean sure it's short it's you know it's not it really is a deluxe figure at a voyager price but for the features that you get the accessories everything that comes in a package you know usually i would say eh, i would probably wait for it to go on sale or something you can, but I feel like this is going to be one of those figures where if you don't find it soon, the secondary market's going to claim this one and it is going to be down the road to three years from now, maybe close to a hundred dollars for a deluxe figure because of all that comes in the package. And I mean Honestly, it's just worth it. It's worth every second. Go buy it. And when you're out there, tell them the Drunken Prime sent you.